Hello everyone, I am Torio and welcome to Conqueror's Blade. This is a sponsored video. My.com, who run the game, have asked me to uh, play the game and show it to you. And I agreed because it feels like something that I would enjoy. Let's connect to a European server. We are in the character creation screen. Of course, I'm gonna be a dude from Poland. Here it is. Yeah, let's take this guy. Customize a bit. Let's make him bold. Details. Eyebrows. Angry eyebrows, please. Yeah, that will work nicely. Skin tone. Do I want to be super pale? No, let's just go with the default. Now, a facial tattoo is usually a poor career choice. Let's just go with a clean look. Okay, next. Classes. If I understand correctly, we are going to be a warlord leading people into battle. And we have eight classes to choose from. Sword and shield. Polex. Spear. Nodachi. Short sword. Oh, this looks uh, kind of Dynasty Warriors, doesn't it? Glaive, bow, and musket. We are going with the pole axe because a pole axe. Well, the name consists of two words: pole and axe. Axe is pretty obvious. Pole is a long stick, but pole also means an inhabitant of Poland. So just because of that, and because this guy looks the most buff, we're choosing pole axe. Also, since we are a Polish dude using an axe. We're going to be an axe pole. I think I'm going to be good at this being a father thing. I already have the jokes down. Create. So what is this game? It is online. It's an MMO. I don't usually play those, but this one gave me a bit of a mountain blade feeling. And I missed that feeling. So uh, there we are. We're currently in the tutorial and obviously we don't have that cool armor. Hopefully we can get that soon. Now I'll be skipping bits because I want to compress quite a lot of content into one video. I want to expand it to some more games and more game genres, not just Hearts of Iron. Of course I'm going to do that all the time as well. Uh, anyway, let me know how you like uh, different types of content. And this seems like a good first step because it's very different from what I usually do, but still seems like fun. So, we have our basic attack and we have some skills. Those skills are different from various classes, of course. And, well, I suppose we can develop them further. For now, we can just hit people with our huge axe. We can hit a lot of people at the same time with our huge axe. Or we can, um, I'm not sure what this is, breaking their block or something like that. So generally on the battlefield, you have two types of units. You have those warlords, like, uh, like we are. Um, essentially hero units that can take out half an army themselves and you have those basic soldiers uh, that uh, well those red shirts um, that are just meant to be <laughs> destroyed I suppose and again they can be helpful as well if I were to just get into the middle of a fight into the middle of an enemy group I would probably get killed um, I tried that once before and it didn't work out too well Okay, I've completed the tutorial and now we get to choose a new region we're going to travel to. We have two regions to choose from, Maoyang and Ostaria. Let's do Ostaria because it seems like a nicer place, less desert, more forest. And here we are out of the tutorial area in the wide world. Don't have much, basic armor, basic weapon, basic horse. We can try our first battles. Now, if you are interested in trying out that game, make sure to follow the link in the description below. That's some nice horse acrobatics. So what is this game? It's um, kind of like Mountain Blade, but multiplayer. And um, essentially you get to do battles with other players. Let's get into one. Field battle, I'm probably going to lose it because I am um, a complete beginner. Um, yeah, I only have those basic units. Basic horse, basic everything. Let's start. Oh crap. There's another level 8 guy and there's some 20 something level people. So this is a field battle, no siege walls or anything. We have to take points A, B and C if I understand correctly. Probably should have made more units for myself because if these guys get killed I will not have more. Follow me you peasants. I will follow those guys that seem to know what they're doing. Perhaps we can capture a point together. They have already taken... Oh, right! That's the point we're supposed to be capturing. Okay, let's try and take this. Get off the horse. Get some guys here. Oh, that was quick. Ah, uh, because there's three of us. Right, I'm going to try and get those... <laughs> I'm gonna die, ain't I? 
There's another Polax guy. He did a lot of damage. Let's try and avoid being murdered while also doing some damage. Let's try and go around the enemy troops. And maybe get to those archers over there. Whoops, I got thrown off my horse. I'm gonna die because there's two enemies trying to kill me right now. Let's try and retreat. Damn it! My team is doing amazingly. I have killed no one and died twice. Which makes me think I'm not very good at this game. I actually really like those banners on the fallen soldiers. I haven't really seen that often in a game. I'm gonna sneak around and try to take this point from them when it's not defended. Because there's a siege weapon there. Perhaps with that I can be not totally useless in this battle. Out of ammo! Ah, crap! At least we'll take the point. Oh, we won the battle, even though I sucked at it. I killed one troop. <laughs> okay, I officially suck at this, but perhaps I can get better. I have some points I could invest in myself. Let's make everything have a nice round numbers, shall we? Oh, leadership. Let's dump the rest in this, because I want to have some good units. So from that first battle, it seems like I need to get some better skills and some better units. Let's unlock the second level of those skills and get some better units. I'm going to try and unlock some archers. Let's see if they work better in the combat situation than, than that uh, militia that's pretty crappy. Perhaps we can suck less on the battlefield when we have archers. Uh, but I need to buy bows for them. And that's going to cost... Some gold, okay then. Well, that's not gold, it's bronze, but whatever. And build them. We can take one unit of militia and two units of archers, that's fine. Um, okay, good thing I didn't make more archers, because I couldn't take them anyway. And we're supposed to keep uh, the opponent from taking the castle. Actually, the archers should work quite well for this. And there we are. Oh, I can use cannons, cool. Let's do that. Yeah, siege tower, whatever. Give me a cannon. Give me a cannon. God damn it. My cannon. Crap. It destroyed my cannon. Okay, um, is there another one? There is another one. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use my archers for this. Come here. Okay, you can attack if you want. That's better. Start shooting. Hmm. Not sure if that's the best place for them, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me. Follow me. There's a powerful archer right next to us. Can I kill her? She's a level 18. I'm only a level 8 or 9. But... Uh, nope, we're dead. I should really place my archers on the other side of the city, shouldn't I? And this way they'll be able to rain arrows on the guys that enter the city. Yeah, let's try and get high up on the walls. Have the archers defend this area. This is, uh... No, no! Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, if my archers take their positions as they should, they will be able to stop the enemy advance, at least partially. Okay, can you guys shoot from where you are? You should be able to. Okay, that's good. Let's try and get that horse archer person. There you are. Okay, okay. I assisted in the killing of a player. That is the best I've done so far. Uh, which, well, suffice it to say, I'm not very good at this, apparently. But at least my archers are doing some damage. That was a good investment, although they're about to be murdered. Yeah, we're about to lose, but perhaps I can get some kills. No, no, we're dead, but I did earn some money. There's an enemy Axeman. Let's have a duel. Come on, let's have a duel. He has very little health. No, he's running from me. Come on, come on. Come on. God damn it. Should have been using my horse. Yeah. Okay, let's use the horse, because he's gonna run away. Come on, come on. Yes! 
<laughs> my first kill. Third battle, first player kill. Played it for a day and learned a bit more and made an archer character that I'm actually doing much better with. I think those ranged characters might be better for beginner players. Anyway, let me show you what I've come up with. Uh, this is my character, I've won some battles, and I can actually uh, buy some better equipment, because at level 10 some new stuff unlocks. So we'll be doing that in, in a moment. I have invested in some better units uh, that can actually use formations that uh, are helpful to me. And um, yeah, let's get that better equipment, shall we? Let's get the recurve bow, which is uh, much better than my current one, and it requires level 10, which I have just reached. So let's buy this. And some armor as well. How much can I afford? Okay, I have 3,000 uh, coins. I think we should be able to afford a full set. And this looks much better. As an archer, we can only wear a light armor. That's fine, let's purchase this. And this one. The bracers and the boots. Spend some money, but we should be tougher with that. So, first the bow armor. Well, kind of helmet, it's just a headband. Oh, it's not visible. Hmm, pity. And braces and boots. Now, all of this buffed my uh, stats significantly. I should be a bit more difficult to kill in battle. I've also unlocked some skills. Essentially, when you get to a certain level, this becomes available. I can contribute to winning a battle quite well, I think. So let's put that to the test, shall we? I will be relying on those uh, spearmen, and they can be quite effective. And see, in this battle we need to take points A, B and C, and as long as we hold them, we get a point advantage over our uh, enemy. As usual, most of the other players are much higher level than myself, but uh, um, it's a team game, I'm going to be able to contribute quite a bit with proper unit formations. Oh, they're coming already. Okay, I had a different idea, but let's just guard the center of uh, uh, this plaza. And this way they should be unable to do anything about that. See, my spearmen are going to assume a defensive position here, and I can actually fire arrows from inside there. And deal quite a lot of damage without being in danger myself. But, well, of course, that is uh, the theory. It seems like it doesn't always work out so well. The okay, attack, guys, your formation is broken. Let us uh, try and reinforce point B, because the enemy is... Uh, oh, enemy is swarming that. That's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Enemy forces have captured the supply point. Seems like this is not really an option for me right now, but we can at least thin out the enemy ranks. Oh, and see, an enemy hero was killed, so they're running away. Good. Horse archery can be quite difficult, but if they can't catch me, they can't kill me. Now, the cool thing about being a ranged character is that I can hide behind my troops and still deal significant damage. <laughs> Shouldn't have come up here. Alright, now, if I can get down and not die doing it... Let's try it like this. Crap! <laughs> yeah, it's just the two of us here. I am getting pummeled. But the enemy is using weak troops, so I should be able to damage them a lot. Oh, that's the guy I killed earlier. Yeah, my troops haven't survived, but it was uh, going well for a little while. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Can we get him? Can we get him? Come on. Well, he's fast. Mm. Well, he ran away. There are some siege engines we should be able to utilize. Let's use that cannon. Okay, we do have a cannon. I can actually hit the guys on the wall, or I could try and damage the gate. Whoops, okay, they're trying to destroy my cannon. Let's try and fire back and see. Okay, that was clearly too low. 
bit. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, is the cannon still trying to hit us from these scorpions here? Can I... Almost a bit to the left. A bit to the left and a little bit down. Oh, they hit it. Let's... I was hoping to hit one of them. But there's another scorpion down here. Perhaps I can get that one. Okay, a little bit up and a little bit left. Ooh. Got hit, but so did they. Haha! <laughs> Anything else I could damage? Yes, there are some people on the wall here. With a cannon. Alright, this is actually dealing quite a lot of damage. Okay, I think it's time to abandon uh, the cannon. Just get on the wall. Use our archer expertise. Right, I can actually command the battery of trebuchets. Let's try and do that. Okay. Here. Is this gonna work? Did I aim correctly? Mm, I hope so. Yeah, let's get you in turtle formation over here. And from there we can actually advance inside. The cool thing about being a ranged character is that I can hide behind friendly troops and still deal a lot of damage. Okay, now, advance. Okay, there's an enemy commander on a horse. Doesn't seem very smart, yeah, he realized that. See, in this situation they can't really hit me, I'm behind my friend's shields, but I can hit them. You can actually duel players in town, I'm just doing this to try it out, but... Uh, the person I encountered is way higher level than I am, so it's pretty obvious how this is going to turn out. Uh, now this is not this is not you know open PvP. You have to accept a challenge like this. There's also some PVE battles. Let's uh, try that. Can we use those trebuchets? It seems like yes, we can. Okay, let's try and thin out enemy ranks with that. That didn't work very well, did it? A PvE battle is essentially a bunch of players dealing with AI enemies. Whoa, what is this? That's some that's some rocket weapons. Do we have those? Let's let's ride around and see if we have those. I wanna use one. Yes, we do. Yes, we do have those. Okay. All right, okay, let's try. It's difficult to aim like this, but you can actually follow the shot to see how well you've aimed. This way is going to be much easier to adjust. Mm, did not aim that well. Need to go a little bit left and a little bit up, it seems. <laughs> All right, just a couple more and we'll have destroyed their siege engines. Maybe a bit up and to the left. Now they have they have better rocket launchers. Okay, this is actually quite effective. I was hoping to use the rocket launchers against them, but uh, unfortunately we can't rotate those. Um, but we are at the walls now, and we can actually deal quite a lot of damage. Damn it! Was that my own trebuchet? I think that was our own trebuchet. Now the thing with PvE battles is that the AI is a little bit easier to outsmart than an actual human player. There's a boss enemy. As long as he doesn't pay attention to me, I think I'll be fine. Maybe I'll try to eliminate those archers instead, because I can't really deal any damage to the guy. Uh, speaking of damage, uh, when I run into him. Let's use our troops to secure the area. The enemy troops should not be able to get through. And now we can all focus on the boss. Seems like we need to destroy this guy in order to win. Or we just have to take the point, we'll see. Okay, just the point then. Well, that was easy. I showed you most of the things in the game by now. You also have uh, repeating quests. But essentially, um, well, that's the battles. But we can also go out in the world and get some resources and stuff like that. So let's do that. We're out in the world. 
kind of looks like Warband, but nicer. Well, it's a newer game. Um, yeah, we can use um, special tokens we've earned from battles to extract resources in the area. So, for example, here's a quarry. Let's uh, try and use that. All right, we're at a quarry. Let's do some gathering. It's going to take some time, and we do have... Uh, extraction tokens that are expended with that, but we actually get quite a lot of resources and then we can use that to craft stuff and so on. Um, there's quite a lot of depth in this game, much more than I'm able to explore in such a short time, but I hope I can give you a good taste of what it is. We actually build stuff, but we are far from being able to afford that at the moment. Right, uh, a sandstorm is picking up, let's go back to town. There is one more thing I have left to show you in the game, and that is houses. Essentially, you can join a house like I did, and they have up to 40 players in them. They can actually own land in the world. If you look at the map, each bit is owned by a different clan, and the clan that I just joined is currently under attack by another one. Well, I'm going to help in the battle. To be honest, I'm not sure I can make much of a difference with my low-level character. Uh, however, I'll try. Alright, let's join the battle and help our guys. Uh, wait a minute, which ones are ours? Oh, the attacker's ours, it seems. Let's not get too arrogant, because I'm probably the lowest level guy here. Let's try and do some damage on horseback, because if I get down, there's so much higher level than me, I'll probably get murdered. Oh, they killed my horse. Oh well, I can still do some damage. So that was quick. I was killed and kicked out of the battle. Yeah, let's try entering the battle one more time. After dying, I was able to rejoin the battle after a while. Um, but it's not looking too good. I think we're losing. I'm trying to give some extra cover to these friendly archers. Not sure if that's gonna do anything, but I can try. Archers are actually very good. Oh, enemy hero alone. Interesting. Well, that was quick. I feel like I was doing much better as the archer character, but the house I joined there didn't want to go to war with anyone, uh, which is a bit of an issue for me. And that will be about it for this video. I think I showed you everything and you have a good feeling of what the game actually is. So let me give you a brief summary while I play a clip of me defeating a much higher level character and gaining a bunch of achievements and stuff. All in all, I had a good time with the game, but more so with the Archer than with the Axe character. So if you decide to try the game out, you might want to test uh, all the classes before you commit to one. As I mentioned before, I don't usually play MMO, uh, but um, I actually enjoyed this game. And I think I have shown you enough for you to be able to make up your own mind about this. Now, I captured all the footage during the closed beta, which lasts until 14th of February. I'm not sure when this video will go live yet, but you might still be able to get in on that. But between the 15th and the 17th of February, there's an open gates weekend, and it's free to play. Everyone can join in and try out the game. So uh, if you like what you saw here, you will find the link in the description below. Follow it to learn more about the game and try it out. And of course, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And that's it for today. Thanks to my.com for sponsoring this video, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.